Saturn in the 12th house. How do you find out if you have Saturn in what house? You need to know your time of birth. Without the time of birth, within 10-15 minutes, correct at least, you cannot know this. Uh, but the house position of Saturn can help you so much understand where your biggest issues are, where your biggest blockages are, how to work on those, how to pay off back karma, how to release blockages in your life, where they're coming from. Once you work through the karma of Saturn, things start moving smoother in your life uh, and Saturn is complexes and issues but how do you find out if Saturn is in your 12th house go to my birth chart astrolada.com uh, sorry to my website astrolada.com where I have a birth chart calculator there is a link below this video taking you straight there and enter your place time of birth all the details and you'll get a chart like that and I want you to see if Saturn is situated here this is the 12th sign from the Ascendant. The Ascendant is the beginning of the horoscope. This is where we always start counting. The Ascendant is the horizon that was, uh, the, the sign that was rising on the east. This is your point of incarnation. That's the start, you know, of the horoscope. So we count in the, this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Signs away from the Ascendant. The, these squares and triangles are different signs. If Saturn is here, it's in the twelfth sign uh, from the Ascendant. But also Saturn can influence the 12 house casts. And the house casts are different ways of dividing the horoscope, which are very similar to the house division, to the sign division. But they're a bit more correct sometimes because they're a bit more, how they say, more um, geometrically correct. But both systems work, so both check them. If I want you to see if Saturn is in the same square or triangle as the 12 Roman numerical. It's a house cast. Sometimes Saturn can be here and can be with the 12th uh, uh, Roman numerical. So it might be in the 11th sign with the 12th house cast. It will still influence uh, or feel like being Saturn in the 12th. Sometimes it might even be here for people who are born very south or very north uh, latitudes. But usually Saturn in the 12th house will be in this sign. And where is the karma coming from? What is, the, what is Saturn blocking there? The 12th house, as you see, is the last house before, uh, you know, the last house in astrology. So it's the house of dissolution, of letting go, of ending things. Uh, and Saturn there blocks, blocks the ability of people to let go of things. So it might be hard for them. They might have more retentive, you know, desires there. You know, you have to let go, but Saturn makes you keep it. And some people like that can be often very confused about what to do with their life because they're not sure what to keep and what to let go of. And this kind of uh, vulnerable, this kind of, <clears throat> you know, uh, <clears throat> what to keep on, what to move on in life. And, uh, and hence, it comes like fluctuation in decisions. So they can't really decide what to do. And sometimes they have to do something. Uh, they kind of have denial about having to end something because they try to say everything is okay, you know, and they try to deny it and block it, but it's there, you know, so it's a bit more difficult to let go of them or to know what to let go of. This is one of the things they have to learn in this life to do, which is more difficult for them. <clears throat> and um, it can make, it can create a, a great state of being stuck in miserableness, you know, when you're, should I do this, should I do that, you know, and it's a painful position, again, Saturn in, in any of the water signs is pain, uh, pain, Water houses, which are the emotional houses, is painful positions. The 12th house, the house of the subconscious, is something that we, we're not aware of. And Saturn represents our um, vulnerabilities, weaknesses, everything that we're ashamed of, everything that we're uncertain of. And such people usually hide well because 12th house is an invisible house. They tend to either have skeletons that they've forgotten about, skeletons or subconscious traumas that they've hidden, that they've buried from past lives, in particular 12 house rules, past lives. So some kind of pain, they cannot even define it. They cannot even understand where their pain and emotional difficulties comes from because it's what 11, uh, 12 houses is, is like the emotional, the subconscious and Saturn is those, uh, those difficult, those uh, weaknesses, vulnerabilities, they're hidden, the person doesn't know them, and they tend to surface like fears, like paranoias, like worries, without even any reason. They might all of a sudden start feeling palpitations and worried for, 
for, for by hearing something which is not at all big, but it triggers some distant buried memory in the subconscious from their past of something that happened. Maybe, um, you know, maybe they drowned and when they see water, they start feeling panicky or maybe they, they were very poor and they see someone begging on the street and all of a sudden they get overwhelming sense of uh, emotionalism and, and, and vulnerability that they can't understand where it's coming from but it's, it's a memory of past life which is which is kind of buried you know they have a lot of buried emotional things so uh, people like that going to psychologists it helps them a lot to actually they will resist a lot unearthing those traumas from the past and those vulnerabilities uh, but they have to find ways to relax and to let go of those things because it's so difficult for them. They retain it, they keep it. Uh, and also such people can very well hide their vulnerabilities because the house is hidden house. And they might look very in control to others, very like everything is, you know, together. While within they might be, you know, falling apart a little bit, but they're good at hiding their weaknesses. They're good at hiding those, you know, those vulnerabilities that Saturn represents. Uh, and <clears throat> usually people think others with Saturn in the 12th house much more lucky and happy in life while the people with Saturn in the 12th house uh, actually only they know what's, what their real pain is and what's happening to them but others always think them stronger and think, think of them that they're more you know, successful, more happy within you know, but only they feel this and uh, Saturn is also the 12th house is the house of the subconscious worlds, is the house of sleeping, is the house of dreaming. So such people might have blockages remembering their dreams, they might dream very little, or they might um, find it hard to sleep even, insomnia, or sometimes, to more extreme cases, they might be like nightmares, but usually it tends to be like more dull, uh, the states of subconsciousness when they fall asleep, unless you have your ascendant in Capricorn or Aquarius because then Saturn becomes the ruler of the ascendant which is you so Capricorn so Saturn becomes you so then these people are highly imaginative highly have a lot of vivid dreams they live into the subconscious world you know a lot but all others who have different ascendants not Aquarius or Capricorn they they're this the, the imaginative world the subconscious world is kind of a block thing for them you know they're kind of hardcore realist they don't believe in those spiritual things usually uh, or they have some issues with that you know or they usually they block these things they, they block impressions from the spiritual realms even if they come or they see something or they hear something or they start those centers start awakening they'll tend to block it but for people who are more spiritually aware and mature and, um, and they're trying hard to work on their spiritualities because they feel lack there because whatever Saturn is you feel lack and most people, when they feel lack of something, they'll block it. That's it. It doesn't exist. They overcompensate. So the invisible, the imaginative doesn't exist. Overly realistic, you know. But uh, others who are more aware and they feel this lack there when it comes to those invisible and spiritual realms and this imagination, they try to work very hard in order to develop those. These are the people who are a bit more, you know, of the scale. So, but they'll see a lot of blockages there, a lot of blockages. So people who are trying to learn to meditate, who are trying to learn to, uh, to, to relax, the 12 houses, take it easy, uh, escape from the responsibilities of the world, they might find it very hard being able to let go of and to relax and to, uh, and to meditate. They have to try harder and harder and harder. They have to, people who are trying to meditate with Saturn might take them years before they unlock those higher realms or before they start communicating it, uh, with those higher realms you know uh, but they have a lot of self-discipline when it comes to those things because Saturn is where you gain a lot of self-discipline so such people can overage usually after 40 50 onwards start developing a lot spiritually with certain exercises it takes them a lot of work but always at later age when Saturn is there it says you get in contact with the higher worlds with your intuition the 12th house is intuition later on in life through special exercise through a lot of hard work trying over and over again uh, and <clears throat> so this delayed or denied spiritual awareness of invisible spiritual worlds um, can either make you very materialistic or make you work very hard in that direction you know they're both ways if something is lacking you can compensate one way or another uh, and uh, 
Also, 12 houses, the ability to stay alone, to have privacy. And to such people, this sometimes is denied because Saturn has blocked and influence. So they might either be fearful of staying alone or they might be fearful or they just might not. They might have so much work or things to do that they never have privacy. There are people always around them because Saturn tends to block things there. And Saturn, you can work through them, um, through the difficult karma of Saturn by w working, by, by taking up a profession which is similar to the house that Saturn is, because then you work, uh, Saturn needs a lot of repetition to learn the lessons, and when you do some job, you do those repetitions naturally, you know, so you, you, you burn the karma of Saturn, so people with Saturn in the 12th house might be, uh, might have careers that are uh, charitable to giving away to others, 12th house is the house of charity, helping the underdog, helping, uh, uh, house is spending and giving and if you make it your job spending and giving then you don't have to have some big expenses otherwise because Saturn can bring some big expenses when it's in the 12th house uh, because you have to pay back karma by giving uh, but if you work in charities or if you if you always separate a little bit from your pension or salary or whatever and give to some charitable organizations so people in need you can work through that karma a 12th house is also the house of uh, secluded institutions hospital prisons libraries scientific research places so people like that can be researchers scientists as well uh, uh, a lot of scientists have this position a lot of medical doctors people who work in hospitals and prisons as well people who uh, libraries such kind of a um, uh, places which are more secluded and 12 house rules foreign places far away from home like it's a game type of seclusion seclusion from your from your birth place of birth the first house from your closest nearest and dearest so such people might have a karma to work through in foreign places by by it's usually work karma so they go and work in foreign places and this way they can pay it off you know uh, and uh, usually this is an indication often that you might be blocked er in the early part of your age to be in foreign countries but later on through career, through work, through responsibilities you're taken there and you give a lot but again I said if you're Aquarius or Capricorn Ascendant then Saturn doesn't block those things in the 12 houses actually you become more of them you become tends to be more spiritual the person tends to live abroad from young age uh, tends to, again uh, tends to uh, you know all those things that we talk about the person becomes Saturn so it doesn't block it but this is what Saturn in the 12 uh, uh, in the 12th house usually brings just be careful those buried fears and buried uncertainty you know uh, and try to work through those that there is emotional issues for those people to work through uh, <clears throat> and uh, as I said, it's very possible to, to work through the Saturn Karma by working in foreign countries, refugee camps, hospitals, you know, immigration work, research work, um, secluded work, you know, or some kind of business that is about escaping reality, fantasy world, in the cinema, in the art, you know, uh, in, the, in the fantastic kind of things <laughs> that, that make the mind dissociate a bit from reality for a moment yeah so thank you so much and you can share your impressions and what you think thank you